inner companionship. No analogy is the approach explanation of what we are to know of God. No shamrock trinity. No caterpillar become butterfly. Your very words must stand without analogy. Even that the parables are enough in difficulty to interpret. There is an eternal reason in God coexisting with the inner word not yet uttered for the purpose of creation. You existed as reason in the being of God, becoming word by utterance. Even so, the Lagos ever existed with the Father. As person distinct, as a person distinct from him, so also the Spirit with the Son and Father. God could not be said to have been alone, needing man, nor further Son and Spirit, for these persons were ever present to your inner companionship. In the divine essence is one person and another, Father, Son, Spirit. This best said as in confirming human beings to salvation, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. These are one God. Our inner world is a quasi-personality of the human inner word, far separate from the real personality of the divine inner word. What occurs in man, God's image, is merely the shadow of what occurs really and in very fact in God. When the word became flesh out from his coexistence with God from eternity, remaining with God and as God, for God is unchangeable. God never either ceases to be what he was or begins to be what he was not. Was this Jesus, the Son of God, begun to be at that time only or began at that time only to be at all? Nevertheless was begotten and was called the Word from some definite beginning the Son went out from God the Father, when was said with voice, let there be light, in order to arrange the universe. The secret to life is to be as God in this way of inner companionship. You will visit us there in ours, as do the three adorable persons, each with the other, nothing separate. We now are in the winter of our lives, and shall there come spring? Passed so many times through in all our lives, we yet lusted with the leaves grown long, the grasses green, the elms so tall and fair. In glades of light, we sometimes saw the stars in shadow shimmering. Still lingers music of a pipe unseen, and a drum to pace our walk alone and sorrowing. We see then God is of some number, for would not leave himself alone, and has no sorrow but for us. You are the God of ultimacy, with seasons passing, seasons disarrayed, but all comes to perfection. Enchantments tried we here, but all your mysteries are holy, and we shall know them. Amen.